guys. So I'm bringing back the spaghetti squash. It looks like a football, but I'm doing something extra special with my spaghetti squash. I am going to show you guys how to make spaghetti squash pizza boats. Do not shake your head and say, ooh, gross. I'm not kidding you. Scott is not like a lover of spaghetti squash. He tolerates it. I think he likes it okay. But we made this the other night and it's so good. I'm like, I'm making it again and I'm showing everybody. It is outstanding. I, I swear, I honestly did not even think about the crust and I'm a total bread girl, like big time. This is so easy, such a simple and nutritious way to feed yourself, but also have some fun because I like a little bit of like naughty with my healthy. So anyways, I am really pumped to show you spaghetti squash pizza boats. Let's get started. Okay, I have done spaghetti squash in the past. So if you look at um, my old videos, probably almost a year and a half ago or so, I forget what version of spaghetti squash. Maybe I just taught you guys what to do with it. But anyways, I really like to take my spaghetti squash with a sharp knife, you can even put it away from you or go sideways and just kind of stick it in, rock it back and forth, stick it again in the same like line so that you're going like in a line this way. Because what you're gonna do is I like to microwave this for just like two minutes or so. It just softens it a little bit. Sometimes these can be a little bit hard to cut into because you wanna cut this in half. So I'm gonna pop this in my microwave for two minutes and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so the squash is not super hot when it comes out. Work with the two slits that you made here and here and then just push your knife through. It should go through relatively easily. Inside, if you've never used spaghetti squash before, there's all these seeds. So I have a dog on the ground, so I can't. Sorry, look at my big garbage. This is super professional over here. With just a spoon, see I just use the edge of my spoon. I'm gonna scrape all these seeds. Comes out really easily, I think, especially when you're using the edge. Don't just use that tip, but work the sides of your spoon. So see how I scrape like this, put my thumb right here with my finger behind, and I scrape it just like that, already done. I'll do the second one. So I'll tell you what's gonna happen here. These guys, I'm gonna put a little olive oil um, down on a sheet tray. They are gonna roast in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. See, easy peasy. Uh, my olive oil, pardon my nasty garbage. Um, these are gonna go, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this down. I'm actually gonna get my fingers dirty, smear it around, and also smear around the edges. This is helping it so it won't stick. Just gives a little bit of a flavor barrier too, or not flavor barrier, but like a little oil barrier, excuse me, and flavor um, for any sort of sticking. I don't do any seasoning. You totally could do salt and pepper here. I find that I'm gonna put enough stuff in here that it'll be fine. They go down this way. Steam will kind of be created inside that hollow cavern. These will go in for 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven, I usually do 35. And when they come out, dinner will come together really fast. So in the in-between time, I'm gonna prep all my pizza toppings. And really, sky's the limit, whatever you like. I'll tell you what I do in just a little bit. It's like live and sizzling you over here. Okay, so 35 minutes. Turn your oven at this point when you pull them out to broil. Very important, so you can turn it off and then hit the broil button or however your oven works. So what you wanna do, if you've never worked with spaghetti squash, I like to use my tongs as my hand, my holder because they're hot. Use a fork and just gently run it through. You can kind of zoom in here. See how I go on the sides and it just shreds up. It's the coolest vegetable. I really like it. Um, and you just kind of make a big pile of that spaghetti squash. This one ripped. I don't know what happened, but I'll eat that one. Scott says he'll eat it, but we'll see. Um, so what I want to do now is, now I'll do a little season. I'll hit these guys with just a little bit of salt. They're going to have salty things, but I want to give them a little bit. And then some cracked pepper. And now, jar your favorite marinara. And I already had this from the other night. Actually, I'll spoon it in so I don't make a big mess. But it's not even hot. It's literally from the jar. I'm going to do two big spoonfuls. Um, you know, this is kind of a little or as much as you want. And then I'm going to work it through. So I'm kind of coating that spaghetti squash with all the sauce. Okay. And again, you really can play, it's leaking through, so it's being sizzly. You really can play with this how you want it. 
But I like to do a little bit of that. Something I didn't do last time, but I thought, you know, I love cheese. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mozzarella now and then do my toppings and then more mozzarella on the top because cheese. So, okay. So a little cheese going down and now it's toppings time. So I did a lot of classics. I did some chicken, um, spicy Italian chicken sausages with some green bell pepper and onion. So think of this like a combo pizza. Yum, if you love uh, like black olives, you could do that right now. Um, so I'm just putting half, approximately half the sausage and veggies down in here, half of it in there. I'm trying to divvy it up evenly so nobody's sad they don't have as much sausage. And then because I am wise, mushrooms. <laughs> I'll go in the broken one. So I have all these sauteed mushrooms and I just cook those up with a little bit of olive oil and uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of butter. Now, chopped pepperoni, because we really like our pepperoni. So that's gonna get sprinkled down over the top. You can go as much or as little as you want here. I did about, I wanna say six or seven slices of pepperoni. You could use turkey pepperoni or no pepperoni or fake pepperoni, whatever you, whatever is your thing. Put these guys, now I'm gonna get, kinda get them positioned side by side because they're going into that broiler. So, she's on top. I'm generous, because I'm a generous gal. So that's going down. I have a little, happen to have a little bit of fresh grated Romano just to kinda, I don't know, make it a little saltier perhaps. I mean, you're eating it on a vegetable, there's no bread. So a little more Romano. Now, I will pop this into my oven with the broiler setting on. I didn't raise my rack because these are already pretty far off the pan and I don't want to get them too singy, but you do need to pay attention and watch them. I'm going to set my timer for just like two minutes, maybe twist it if it needs a little help, but they're going to come out golden brown delicious. You see, I'll see you in a second, okay? Uh, I wish you could have heard what was happening before we pushed play. Scott's like, seriously? We have to film, I'm ready to eat. Cause you guys, it smells like the world's best pizza parlor in here right now. I am not even kidding. I have to test taste cause it's what I do and Scott's irritated so I'll chip chop. Okay, plus I made this the other night and he knows how good it is. I mean, seriously, that looks hot, but it's gonna be so good. It's like all your favorite toppings, whatever those might be for you, wrapped up with some cheese and then the spaghetti squash, you're kind of like, what? I'm sorry, pizza crust what? Pizza crust what? You guys, it's so good. It's pizza heaven with not as much guilt or gluten. If you're gluten free, this is your pizza. I'm telling you, that cheese is stuck in my hand. It is so outstanding. It has all the flavors. You get that a little bit of crunch from the pepper, the sweetness of the onion, all the tomato. I have mushrooms because mushrooms are life. Scott's doing this. <laughs> and then the spice from the pepperoni and the sausage, heaven. I wanna hear back from you. What pizza toppings would you put on your Spaghetti squash pizza boats. I'm like, what is it called again? Spaghetti squash pizza boats. I'm delirious because I'm so tired and hungry. Okay, delight of the bite. Subscribe, share, tell your friends to watch. Every Wednesday night, 5.30 Pacific, p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I post a new video. If you didn't know that, then subscribe and you'll get it automatically sent to you. Otherwise, you can just tune in and look for it. Also, give me a follow on Instagram, at delight of the bite. I do other fun food postings throughout the week. And um, yeah, just let people know I'm here because I'm having a blast talking about food and sharing my little insights here and there. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.